Hello, Steve here. And Larson. Steam is a great thing, but like a lot of great things, sometimes it isn't so great. Like when shit games make it on there. But then it's great when those crap games get taken off Steam, making Steam even greater. So there you go, here are the top 10 games pulled from Steam. Number 10. Vendetta, Curse of the Ravens Cry. After this pirate game was re-released thanks to horrible reviews over bugs last year, developer Reality Pump was accused of posting fake positive reviews of their game on Steam. Then in late January, the game was pulled from Steam entirely for reasons not provided. But it was kind of easy to connect the dots. Yeah, create fake lovers of your game and you'll probably get your shit banned. Yeah, Gaben hates fake people, man. Number 9. Ashes Creek in 2013. It only took four days for this title to be pulled from Steam, thanks to hilariously bad everything. Character animations, game mechanics, you name it, this game got it wrong. To their credit, publisher 505 Games issued refunds and apologies, and went on to publish one of Steve's favorite games, Sniper Elite 3. Hell yeah they did! Shooting Hitler in the butthole has never been so fun. Number 8! Paranautical Activity! Here's a lesson game devs around the world learn thanks to Paranautical Activity. Don't threaten to kill Gabe Newell and expect to keep your game on Steam. What seems like an obvious rule was lost in code adverse developer Mike Malbeck, who went on a Twitter rampage after experiencing some frustrations with publishing his game on the platform. Part of that rampage was a tweet about killing Gabe Newell. Not good. The developer eventually cooled down, apologized, and deleted his tweets, but it was too late. Steam said, fuck you, and the game was pulled from Steam. The game eventually found its way back on Steam after Malbec sacrificed himself at the altar of Newell. He stepped down from his position at Code Avarice, and the IP was sold to a new developer, showing that Lord Gaben is a kind, forgiving lord. Number seven. Earth Year 2066. Some developers and games are such a massive mess, it's almost entertaining to witness. Consider Earth Year 2066. The game was pulled by Valve within two months of going on sale because simply, it was a hot broken mess. To make matters worse, the developer allegedly deleted customer complaints from Steam and was using images it didn't own to promote the game. Wouldn't it be funny though if when the year 2066 actually came around it looked exactly like this game? You know the right things are going? That's not really out of the question. Number six. Afro Samurai 2! There's a fairly extensive breakdown about how crap this sequel is over at Kotaku. In fact, when you Google Afro Samurai 2, the second result is that article titled, Afro Samurai 2 is some bullshit. Normally we'd wag our finger at such an unprofessional biting title, but in this case, Kotaku was right. This game is some bullshit. It's a mess from the start, and the game was pulled from Steam after two months of pure gaming frustration. Apologies and refunds were doled out, but the question remains, what the hell happened? I played the first game and it was fun, it got decent reviews, and this is a fairly well-known IP. How could a massive failure like this happen? Cocaine! Whoa! That's quite an accusation. No, I wasn't saying anybody there. involved in Afro Samurai 2 did cocaine. I'm saying I have some cocaine. Would you like some? No. I'm joking, I don't have any cocaine. Good. Say no to drugs, kids. That's right, dare to say, say no, no to drugs. <laughs> Building a website can be tough, and even if you do know your way around coding, creating something that looks good and works well is a time-consuming affair. Whether it's for a business site, a portfolio, a restaurant, or whatever else, in this day and age, you probably need one anyways. Well, lucky for us, Squarespace makes it easy to build beautiful websites without breaking a sweat. Squarespace provides simple, powerful, and beautiful websites that look professionally designed regardless of skill level, no coding required. Not only does Squarespace provide you with intuitive and easy to use tools to create your website with, Squarespace also has state-of-the-art technology powering your site to ensure security and stability. And you know you can trust in Squarespace for your website needs when millions of people and some of the most respected brands in the world trust in them too. Seriously, you can't beat the ease and simplicity of Squarespace. Squarespace gives you 24-7 online support and a beautiful website. So what are you waiting for? Start a trial with no credit card required and start building your website today. When you decide to sign up for Squarespace, make sure to use the offer code FTW to get 10% off your first purchase and to show your support for Machinima's 10 for the win. We thank Squarespace for their support of Machinima's 10 for the win. Number five. The Stomping Land, an online multiplayer survival game set in a land of dinosaurs sounds rad, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what a lot of people thought when they kicked in over $100,000 to developer Supercrit for his Kickstarter for The Stomping Land. An early version of the game hit Steam and then... 
nothing. After a few updates and some tweets about personal issues, the Stomping Land developer seemed to have abandoned the project, and it was pulled from Steam! Unfortunately, the Kickstarter backers were left without refunds or recourse, beyond knowing Supercrit won't be allowed to kickstart anything ever again. In the meantime, there's always Ark Survival Evolved if you really want your fix of dino survival action. You know Turok is also on Steam. Nice. If you want to survive as the planet's premier badass. Batman Arkham Knight! The highly anticipated Arkham Knight played as smooth as ever on console upon its release late last year. But the PC version played more like Brand X and not genuine Joker product. Rocksteady hopped right on it, but it was a long, grueling process that eventually saw the port pulled from Steam and unconditional refunds were offered to anyone who paid for it. And Rocksteady also slipped some shade in one of their statements, letting folks know the PC port was provided by an external PC developer. That external developer? Bob the Goon! Number three! Five Nights at Freddy's World! This RPG entry in the popular Jump Scare Freddy's franchise landed with a bit of a thud upon release. Even though it had a very positive rating on Steam, developer Scott Cawthorn felt he rushed the game and pulled it not long after its release. He apologized and asked Steam to drop the refund window, encouraged everyone to get their refund, and then re-release the game for free. Which is a really cool thing to do! Of course, it's maybe a tad easier for him to do that, because he's swimming in a vast pool of that Freddy's money already. Number two. Ride to Hell Retribution! Gamers got pissed when they tried to fuck in this game and a glitch caused the clothes to stay on. That's just part of the game, man. That's not a glitch. What? Why was, why was this pulled from Steam then? It's just a crap game. That's it? Really? Do you disagree with that assessment? No, but there are plenty of crap games out there. Yeah, but this is the one that had the dry hump glitch. But you just said number one! The War Z! Plenty of games tried to ride the coattails of Daisy, but none tried to ride as hard as the War Z. It was the perfect example of a game rushed to release to take advantage of a popular title, and then it crashed and burned before famously being pulled from Steam for being a messy bug fest. Sure, plenty of games get pulled from being buggy, but the War Z was so shameless in trying to rip off Daisy, it got extra shine on it from gamers and the press alike. And it has a happy ending, more or less. The War Z was pulled from Steam but brought back to life under the name Infestation Survivor Stories, where it enjoys mixed reviews. Which is far better than the reviews it got before, which were probably somewhere in the makeshift cardboard toilet of a homeless man in a back alley. And be sure to sub to our channel for more Steven Larson and check out our pro wrestling podcast, Going In Raw, if you're a WWE nerd like us. And of course, if you can think of other shit games pulled from Steam, leave them in the comments. Shame we didn't wait a year to do this list, because Steve and Larson the video game is sure to be on it by the end of 2016. That's still happening, right? <laughs>